Hello, uh, this is kind of an off-the-cuff tutorial showcase, not really a tutorial, it's not a planned one, but something I've just kind of realised after playing with um, 5.4. Um, upgraded my previous project, or copy of my previous project, to just test it out, and I've imported uh, the height map and found out that it still comes with the original bugs from 5.3 which is very annoying but um, I've tried the other method which was the workaround before um, and again still got this region placement bug um, but I'm gonna do some messing around because I figured out kind of what the regions are uh, as far as like what they're act what they are in the uh, the actors list and stuff, but anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of how I got to this again. I've done this whole create new landscape thing before importing the height map. This is nothing to do with height maps. This tutorial, this is purely going to be talking about the region issue. But basically, this is what I did to set it up, and I did use my calculations to get my 30 kilometer um, size but I'm not sure if that's what's causing the issue I'll need to check that out but we'll do that maybe at the end I'll test out the region uh, placement with a zeroed well uh, a standard setup as far as scale is concerned anyway so I've gone ahead and done this and as you can see, it's placed um, the regions covering uh, the wrong wrong amount. So there should be two components per uh, region. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So it's basically it's like half them and put them in the corner. So I don't know if I've put, done my numbers wrong, but I'm pretty sure if you set it to 16, it should cover 16 components per region. Um, so you should just get four regions that cover the entire map because this map is set up into um, two by two components. Anyway, that's the issue. Uh, but then what I realized was one thing. I was like, okay, what the hell are these things? And I'm still pretty sure that these are just like ways of um, organizing landscapes in teams to be like uh, to be able to not have conflicts with each other when you're working in teams. And I think that's basically what their purpose is. And maybe that you can reference them in code and do a few things with them, like load chunks of your map via the regions pretty quickly. Like you got these things here. But anyway. I was looking at here and I was like, landscape region, okay, what is it? And then I realized when you hover over it, it says this little thing, location, volume. So I then looked at, okay, can I add one? And then I was looking through here and then I was like, okay, there's not really, not really anything there for that. But then if you go into this place actors and you type in volume or whatever, you get this huge list and it's a bit of a pain to look through but there is one here called location volume a volume representing a location in the world used for world partition loading regions so there is uh, the actor essentially so we've got location volume which is when you look at it in the details panel uh, let me put it above I put it above the landscape. Oh, I'll put it inside. Uh, okay, let me just name it region test. Oh, why did it go up there? Oh, landscape region test. Okay, so I just want it to go up to the top. Landscape region test. Okay, so now that's gone to the top with these. So then when you look at these, they're exactly the same thing. So it shows we can add them ourselves, basically, and do uh, whatever we want with them. So, so I'm just going to 
we'll look at this and I'm going to zero it out. So let's put it there. Scale. One, one, one. Okay, so you can see now we can actually make our own regions. Uh, which, to be honest, I've not checked if we can do that in 5.3. I didn't know that that was what they were called before. I was always looking for like reference to um, landscape regions, but they're actually called um, they're actually called lo uh, location volumes. So there you go. That's what they're actually called. That's why there's no information on landscape regions. Is because they're not called landscape regions. That's just what they call this in relation to it being on a landscape so it's you know if that makes any sense at all but basically I'm going to check now if I scale this up by like 10 by 10 by 10 okay that's not quite let's copy these let's copy these regions just for now. So X, Y. Interesting. So that's scaled up. Why has that done that then? So I wonder what the difference is. This is something we'll have to check. Maybe there's some kind of link to the some kind of link to the uh, terrain. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of going through, seeing if there's any major differences between the two in the settings. Mm, so that's very strange, isn't it? So I don't understand really. All right, so let's do 10 by 10 by 10. So that's going to be like, what, 8 instead? 8 by 8. It could also be that the component has different settings. I don't know. Um, OK. 10 by 10 by 8, so that's going to be 20 by 20 by 8. And I'm going to go with these views top down, side, side to side. Let's go here. I'm going to just do that. Going to position it roughly in the middle all right so we've got a region that is now basically the same. I'm positioning it down. We've got our new one. And there we go. We have our new landscape region, I guess. Um, the scales are clearly wrong in relation to the others and I'm not too sure on that I'm wondering if they're tied to the s to the pair uh, to the parent somehow um, no errors or anything so yeah I don't know that seems like a way of creating new regions and we, we now know what they're actually called um, and I guess you could just go through and just duplicate these, I guess, and position them. And 
make as many as you want. I mean, I'm guessing that's kind of how we would do it. And then you could... I don't know what I've done now. See, I'm still getting a lot of um, issues with VRAM. This is another thing that's a bit, um, a bit annoying because I'm like maxing out my 24 gigabyte graphics card. Just trying to look, and you can see that this thing's just bugging out like so much, and I can't even see my cursor when I'm hovering over this. I mean, I know it's preview mode, but is that going to be the excuse every time? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, it seems that we now have. Um, if I was to now unload selected thing and then load region from selected just to double check they work I have my GPU see I'm using 16.7 gig dedicated GPU when I've not even got anything loaded and now it is taking its sweet time. No, it works though. So we have all of our um, our made, custom made landscape regions which are these ones. Oh, I did duplicate those ones as well, didn't I? Yeah. So yeah, you obviously want to go in and name them and stuff, but it shows it works, you know, and then we can unload from here, um, or it seems you can, I haven't checked it out yet, but we can load from there as well. So if we have the region selected, we can unload that chunk. I suppose what's cool about this is you can craft, you can start crafting regions for members. So like, let's say we didn't want all those regions to be like that. Um, you wanted like seven big regions for one artist. Um, but you wanted like 10, you know, little ones or whatever. But you could, um, you could, you could name these landscape region uh team member zero one you know and then like you can say okay this region belongs to team member one and they can go and work on that and in theory when everyone commits to a server which is basically a development talk for you know uh, everyone sending their work in to the team then that means that there won't be issues with conflicting files anyway i'm going to stop talking because uh, this is basically just meant to be a quick little thing to show you guys that i hope that helps maybe it means nothing and maybe i'm wrong but you know there we go see you later